So we're going to start with Roger uh, Peabody from AIDSMAP, question for Professor Pilevsky, a really good one, Joel. H how do you anticipate your findings should change the medical care that people with HIV receive? If resources are limited, what should providers do first? Thank you, Roger. Right. So the question is, you know, a lot of people have HCL and we can't screen and treat them all. Not at the beginning anyway. So we need a way to prioritize. And I would start by recommending that everybody, all people living with HIV, get a digital anal rectal exam first to feel for any suspicious lumps or bumps. Uh, <clears throat> if anybody has any signs or symptoms, such as pain, bleeding, or new growth that's otherwise unexplained, they should get referred for HRA. But the majority of people won't fit into these categories, so they would undergo more traditional screening. And we would recommend for now, because we don't have good data yet to recommend a particular series of tests, such as cytology or HPV, to start by screening those based on risk level, namely people who are HIV positive and who are older and have been longest living with HIV and potentially with the lowest Nader CD4 count. So the older the individual, the higher the risk of cancer. So until we have specific uh, test recommendations, I think that's a good way to uh, roll through the uh, people who may potentially benefit from HRA.